Everyone knows that Pincho Factory serves up the freshest, juiciest meat sticks this side of the mighty Colorado. But how much do you really know about this hot, hot Pincho sh**? A Pincho is a lot like a 1954 Ford Thunderbird. Except not at all. Pinchos are delicious skewers of grilled meat, expertly seasoned and paired with creative fresh ingredients. Now that you know what a pincho is, it's time to learn about its past. My cousin is a historian of sorts, and he says that pinchos date all the way back to prehistoric times. Yeah, it looks great, man. Good job. This industrious caveman quickly tapped into the earnings potential of the Pincho. Pincho! You ballin' now, caveman! The Pincho continued to be a delicious part of our history. It was first brought to Europe by Ponce de Pincho after he discovered it in the New World. We've even encountered the extra rare Moon Pincho, or Muncho, in outer space. Soon after, Pincho mania had set in and everyone was eating Pinchos. They were even turning up in our favorite family TV programs. Oh, hi, honey, I'm home. And I brought this fat sack of Pinchos. <laughs> There you have it, the 100% accurate, completely bogus history of the Pincho. What could this amazing monument of meat offer us in the future? Funny story. It is funny. Uh, it was a 4th of July. I was at his house, and then we were having a couple of drinks, and then he was grilling some of his burgers, which everybody knew that he had like the best uh, burger uh, grilling skills. Uh, and then uh, I, I told him like, man, I wish we could have food like this every day. Uh, and then I told him, man, let's open a restaurant. We'll put my mom's kebabs, the pinchos, and then you put your burgers, and uh, I think we got something there. A couple of days later, uh, in a hangover, he calls me and he tells me. Hey, what's up? Were you serious about the restaurant? And I told him, man, I was freaking drunk. A few days before opening, I, I find myself with $6.27 left. I've got a 10-month-old daughter. It was terrifying. And then come Saturday, when we open Saturday, we have about 400 people at the restaurant. That was intense. Yeah. When I see people coming to Pizza Factory, to me, it, it amazes me. I walk into Pizza Factory on a Friday and I see the line out the door. It is pretty insane. My love for food started at a really young age. As a kid, I grew up in a really large family. There was 12 of us growing up in the same house. Uh, dinner was a contact sport. And growing up here in South Florida with so much Latin influence and then the Middle Eastern influence at home, I was able to put together a lot of really cool flavors. Street food inspired from around the world is, is how you can really sum up our menu. We're so different than the other restaurants. I mean, you can have a burger, you can have a pita wrap. Some people order kebabs, they'll get salads. So whatever you're in the mood for. At our core, four fresh proteins, so we don't complicate that side of the menu. But yet we still give you options on how to combine those between vehicles, toppings, homemade sauces. And, and what really helps too, you know, the quality of our burgers, humanely raised from a select 250 US farms. We want to serve what we would buy and eat at home. You know, our beer selection is really great. We're not a bar, but yet we our, our beer selection can compete with any of them. I think ours is a little better, but I'm a little biased. I'd love for people to come in just to really experience some f***ing awesome food. Yeah, and some f***ing awesome burgers. Yeah, I was at a family bar. <laughs>